Alright, so why should you start an online business? What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with another video and today we're going to be going over why someone should get started with an online business in 2018. I come from a background where I have no experience running an online business and you know literally I didn't know anything about online businesses, affiliate marketing, Facebook ads, all these different things. I know nothing. E-commerce was one of my first opportunities and obviously after getting results and success within e-commerce I've branched out and I've learned about numerous online business opportunities. If you guys want to see more videos where I'm going over you know running an online business, how to set up an online business, you know should you have an LLC, S Corp, make sure you leave me a like on this video, make sure you press that thumbs up button. Also leave me a comment, let me know what specifically within online business videos you guys would want to see of course if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button join the vfam i'm going to be bringing you guys a lot more videos just like this for anyone you know that doesn't know you know too much about online businesses and that you know the, the potential and power behind them uh this will probably make it you know make it make a lot more sense to you guys so to kind of get started right for, with online businesses online businesses usually require little capital right and that's huge because obviously you know anyone that's trying to be an entrepreneur maybe you already are an entrepreneur and maybe you're already successful right but usually when it comes to starting a brand new opportunity you know usually you don't want to use the capital that you have available if uh, you know you don't have a ton of it right if you're not a multi-millionaire already you know being able to take part in a business opportunity that requires little to no capital is huge right that was huge for me because i know for a lot of you guys watching you know when i first got started trying to build uh, or trying to test you know my first online business venture i didn't have much capital to get started again some of you guys may have heard about my story but i had two thousand dollars set aside that i had saved up from doing door to door sales uh the second thing that i you know that i really like about online business is that it, you can you're able to test a lot more than one online business and what i mean by that is you know if you learn the skill sets you know within like social media marketing you know how to really help businesses get more clients and leads you know utilizing social media and those skill sets you can apply those same skill sets of that it takes to run a social media marketing agency business and apply those skill sets to an e-commerce business right now you can promote the products that you're selling you know let's say you know you're doing Shopify drop shipping you can promote these products using the same skill sets that you use to run a social media marketing agency so that's what I mean by being able to test more than one online business and you're able to do it with again little to no capital or resources that's the best part about an online business you're able to test it you know without requiring too much startup either investments or time also one you know one of my favorite parts is that it's a lot riskier than typical businesses right you know my business partners to me, he actually was telling me this story of you know how when he first got started his first business venture was a clothing line right he had his you know he has some sick designs um, you know he's he's pretty creative so he has a pretty creative mind but he has some sick designs and you know his main reason as to why he couldn't really get it off the ground is because he had to invest all of his capital into you know buying the t-shirts up front to then have all that inventory to then later on hopefully sell the merchandise that he had now that's how typical businesses are usually they, they require you having to you know buy products up front and buy inventory and then to later on hopefully sell it and then later on there ends up being you know some problems here and there and the reason why I like online business is because like for example with e-commerce and drop shipping you don't have to worry about having you know any inventory having any products warehoused or anything like that you can actually start you know testing like an e-commerce business without having any products or merchandise up front so there's no there's barely any risk uh, usually with front-loaded business models they do require you know a good amount of work up front usually it's not easy to just get started and start like printing money like that's not how it works some people think about you know, um, internet businesses is like get rich quick schemes and that's not what it is, right? There's a strategy behind it. So you don't just come in, put, you know, put things on the internet, sell them, run some ads and just make money that, and that's it, right? There's a process behind it. You know, with online businesses, they do require some work up front. You know, it takes some time to learn the business, uh, start testing it, getting results. After you get results and you work on maintaining your results, and then from there you're able to automate and kind of get a team to help, you're able to get a team to help you automate the business. Now. The reason why I like it, it's a front-loaded business model is because it requires a ton of work up front. But then as you go on and you start to build a structure, 
and have a team in place and things like that you it re then requires less work than you initially put in so for example now in our e-commerce business i give you guys i showed you guys my last video you know how you know this month we're already about to cross 50 grand mark and uh pretty much all of our business is automated i mean we check in on it here and there but a lot of it's automated but when we first got started you know we were putting in 30 to 40 hours a week day in and day out like we were literally like really trying to figure out what it took to get results from owner business models usually take a lot of work up front but then as time goes on it requires less and less work so that's why i'm a huge fan of it you know after you test it you really work on you know getting results and after you get results you work on maintaining the results because after you're able to maintain it you're then able to hire a team to obviously you know keep doing a lot of the things that need to be done to maintain those results and then later on you can scale but maintain them is the one of the most important parts you can easily build one after another and what i mean by that is again like kind of the first thing i went over the skill sets that you learn you know let's say in social media marketing you can then apply to e-commerce and vice versa right so if you learn the skill sets within e-commerce you can also use those same skill sets uh, for affiliate marketing and affiliate marketing for those of you guys that don't know it's just you know when you're selling other people's products for a commission I actually made a video uh, on different types of online opportunities uh, you guys can check that out usually online businesses they're always changing at all times right there's obviously you know the internet never sleeps so there's always new things coming into the marketplace new strategies new things to try at all times so it really keeps you on your toes like literally on your toes because Again, if you're not staying ahead of the game and you're not, you know, learning about the new strategies and the new things that are working, then you're going to be left behind. And again, it's going to cost you sales, conversions, you know, revenue and all that stuff. If you're able to adapt, you know, within an online business, you can then use the same skill sets, you know, within any other opportunity you take part of. Right. A lot of people that are running online businesses are absolutely crushing. You guys have probably heard about Jeff Bezos. He just became the, you know, for those of you guys that don't know Jeff Bezos, he's the founder of Amazon, just became the richest man in the world. And what does he have? an online business so obviously it's huge right uh, a lot almost everybody i know or i'm pretty sure almost everybody in the world knows about amazon right it's pretty hard to find people that don't know about amazon so online businesses are really scalable right and one of the reasons why online businesses are you know really scalable is because they're not limited to one location right again you're not a an online business you're not running a brick and mortar store where you're only in one store and you have to wait for people to come to you with online businesses you know you're finding Usually within e-commerce and dropshipping, you're finding products that people are already, you know, interested in and are already buying and simply, you know, setting up the right kind of offers, bringing them to the right kind of websites. Also with online business, you can market worldwide, which means that, you know, the amount of people you can reach is a lot more than what a, a regular business like a brick and mortar store you know what they can reach right so that's obviously huge and because again the more people you can reach the more possible customers the more possible customers the more sales and obviously the more money and of course we all want more money once you find something that works it's to really scale your business you usually just uh, increase your budget and what I mean by that is you know for our, our e-commerce and dropshipping business when running a Facebook ad campaign as soon as we see that you know obviously when first getting started we start off with a small budget five dollar a day budgets I'm sure some of you guys may have also started off with $5 a day budgets. Uh, as soon as we start off with $5 a day budgets and we start seeing that, you know, within a few days, we're getting double or triple the return on that $5. We increase our budget and we move it from, obviously we have a structure. Uh, we actually teach uh, inside of our P2P dropshipping accelerator. Uh, if you guys are interested in learning more about e-commerce and dropshipping, check out the link below. You guys can actually check out the P2P dropshipping accelerator. Uh, it pretty much teaches you guys everything from A to Z to run an e-commerce business. But uh, we teach our students how, obviously, how you can scale up. There's a specific formula you need to be, you know, you have to use to scale up correctly. But as soon as we see we're getting double or triple our return on that budget that we started with, you know, we increase our budget. If you're running an offer to, let's say, affiliate marketing, and once that ad that you're running or is working really well and you're getting again double or triple on your return all you're going to do is now take that budget from fifty dollars and potentially bring it up to a hundred and you're going to be making double or triple of what you're making and you pretty much keep scaling up up until the point where you're not you know making double on your return but obviously you'd, you'd probably stop scaling before you hit that point now this is one of my favorite parts about running an online business and the first one is again it gives you the freedom to work from it gives you limitless freedom and one of the main freedoms that i like is being able to work from everywhere right again i'm used to 
I told you guys before I got started with you know running online business and e-commerce and drop shipping, I was doing door-to-door -door sales where I couldn't really work from anywhere. We had specific areas that we would go to and to knock on doors, we would call it turf. And that's the area we would have to work in. And it's not like we could just fly to another state and you know cold call and knock on doors there. Because obviously, if unless the company had an office or a base there, we couldn't do it because obviously they couldn't operate, uh, you know, wherever it was that, you know, we would go knock on doors. So we would pretty much limited to being able to work in specific locations where the company was established. So again, not as scalable. I couldn't work from anywhere. So now that I'm running an e-commerce and dropshipping business, I'm a huge fan because, again, right now I'm living in California. I'm originally from Boston. I have my family in Boston. My mom. And if I have to go back home to see my, you know, to see my family, I can take a trip back there and not worry about not being able to work or, you know, produce any revenue, or produce any, or generate any revenue or produce any income. Because I know that I, while I'm in Boston, I can put a, turn on my laptop and I can get work done right from, you know, from Boston, from the laptop. So that's one of my favorite parts. I know you guys see those cheesy Instagram pictures where people are like promoting uh their products and services from like working from the beach and like living that laptop lifestyle where you, you only work from the beach at all times and you do little work i mean i guess you could kind of do that but don't get me wrong there's a lot of work that goes behind you know getting to that point where you can just work from the beach and barely do any little you know barely do any work on your online business so and again a lot of you guys you know may like that may like this specifically it lets you it lets you spend more time and partake Let's use some more time with family. That's what I meant to put with family and partake in more activity. So of course, like who doesn't like being able to go to the movies whenever they want, hang out with friends, you know, go walk your dog around the park. Actually, Pluto's actually getting kind of big. So now we're going to start walking him. He's only a pup, so I couldn't walk him before. For those of you guys that are able to leverage your freedom, you're then going to be able to do things like, again, you know, enjoy uh, enjoy more activities with friends and families and you know do a lot more things that you actually want to do besides just you know working on the business all the time so that's pretty much everything that i had for you guys so far i hope you guys got value from this video if you did make sure you leave me a thumbs up hit the like button and obviously leave me any qu comment below with any questions you guys have i will be responding to all of you guys you know within a timely manner and of course if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button join the v fam and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.